Hey, I'm Jason Miles, and I'm a producer, keyboardist, arranger, synthesist, jack of all trades, as they say. And I have an album out on Ropa Dope called Jason Miles, Kind of New Black Magic. And I'm here today at the Ropa Dope Music and Arts Festival. Thank you for having me, Lewis and Fabian and everybody. And uh, the album that I have out there now just couldn't get off the ground the right way because we weren't able to play live, like basically a week after it came out, we were going to Europe and everything got canceled for the whole year. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to play a song from the album, Black Magic, the title. And uh, I'm going to be accompanied by a track with Gene Lake and Reggie Washington on it. And, uh, you know, it's the song, Black Magic. So let's give it a shot.
Whoa! <laughs> That'll give you a workout. No doubt about it. That was Black Magic. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a couple of new tracks for the album to use as bonus tracks when the pandemic kind of eases up a little bit and we're able to go out there and do something. And I have a live track and I have a new studio cut that we're working on right now. So that's what's coming down in the future. You know, I produced a lot of great artists in my career. I'm really lucky in so many ways and work with so many amazing people. And it's been just, you know, a real, a real trip. You know, in 1972, I discovered a saxophone player who I really loved, Gatto Barbieri. And uh, I heard his early albums on like Flying Dutchman, you know, with El Pompero and Live at Montrose and always had great bands, Bernard Purdy. And I followed Gatto. And when I came back to New York, I saw him perform and everything a number of times, many times over the years, you know. And so, you know, I knew that he was going through some problems. He had physical problems and he was making an album. And I submitted a song for the album back in 19, I think, 97. And, uh, um, you know, it didn't make it to the album. And I was told by the record company that nobody really liked the song. And I was surprised because I thought it was a really good track. So what happens is that let's flip ahead a couple of years later. We got a Grammy for our album, A Love Affair, The Music of Yvonne Linz. And I started getting different calls from people. Of course, they want to know, you know, how did I get Sting to sing the lead vocal on the, the Grammy winning tune, you know. But... What happened was that one of the guys from RCA, the late Stephen Ferrara, called me up and told me that they were thinking about signing Gatto and wanted to know if I'd be interested in producing him. And I was like, wow, really? And he goes, yeah, we'd love you to. And so I went, OK, I'm, I'm interested. So I went up and I had a meeting up at uh, RCA and I met Gatto and I went and I uh, had a stack of vinyl with me. I took all my vinyl, my, my 15 albums that I had of his, brought them up there just to show him that I'm really into this, man. I'm a big fan, you know? And he was really pretty taken back by it and everything. And then we were talking about material, and I brought that song with me that the record company turned down that said nobody liked. And I had a CD, and I said, listen to this thing and tell me what you think. And we put it on, and he looked at me and goes to me, I like this song. Yeah, this is, we should do this song, you know? We do this song. I'm going, okay, you, you never heard this song before? No, I never heard this song before, which made me believe that maybe nobody ever played it for anybody figure that one out, you know. So anyway, I went in the studio. This song is called Bliss. And uh, we ended up making this wonderful album called The Shadow of the Cat. It was really his last studio album. He would turn 70 at the time. And uh, got Herb Alpert on it and Vinnie Cagliuta, Sheila E. It's really, really nice. Gato sounds amazing on it. We did a remake of Last Tango in Paris. And it's called The Shadow of the Cat. And so this song that their famous record company turned me down, and I want to play this for you solo, and it's called Bliss. But a little, we'll do a little acoustic piano vibe for you tonight on this.
it was Bliss. And uh, the album was the Billboard Latin Jazz Album of the Year. I think it was 2003. And we also got a Latin Grammy nomination for it also. And it's a nice legacy for Gato to leave. Anyway, thanks so much for tuning in. You know, uh, hope to be playing live for you sometime for real. And there'll be more happening from me coming down the pike, I hope, with rope dope And uh, enjoy the next people that are going to play, man, because it's always quality with them. Take care.